I would sit here all day and thank you guys because I really can't thank you enough but unfortunately I can't I can't go away for another month gotta go work on my next project okay let me get to the point so I haven't posted in like four months but I promise you I have a very good reason for that oh uh, uh, no no uh no 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 it's mainly because i couldn't really decide on what to make this game right here is supposed to be a horror game made entirely out of ai and i just thought it was lazy and i really didn't like it um welcome to hallsburg i also made this spider procedural animation type project and i didn't know where to go with it so i just quit that i also tried making a vr game but one day i woke up and it was just not working it was lagging so much and i was having so many issues with input it was actually insane and the game you see on screen right now is the project that i went with for this video i'm not going to make you wait any longer so officially after four months here's how i started off this project by making a map now this hideous abomination will probably get me wanted in every single country and have the fbi breaking down my door charging me with being bad at map design. So I threw this damn disgrace of a map into the garbage bin and replaced it with a still bad, but better map. And I will 100% not change this map in any way in the future. I'm lying. Hi. After all that, I decided to model this pulse rifle energy rifle thing. By the time this video comes out, you should be able to get this rifle on my sketch fab along with some other models that I have. Now it's a pretty good investment, so just go over there and get yourself some models, buddy. I then threw together a quick character controller using this tutorial by Legion Games. Now I don't have any footage of me actually making this player controller because I forgot to record, so that's on me. There's also a lack of footage of things including me putting this tile texture on the map and making this raycast system for the gun. And also another thing, I have no idea where that capsule looking thing came from. It's haunting me in my dreams, somebody please send help. Then I made a muzzle flash for the gun using particles and a 3d sprite i don't mess around with particles much in godot so this is kind of new to me after making this muzzle flash i knew i had to make a new enemy if you can even call this thing an enemy which you can't because it does absolutely nothing introducing our new shiny enemy i'm gonna name this guy um hmm Well, since ChatGBT can't come up with an actually good name, I'm just gonna name him Craig. And adding Craig into the game was actually very easy. All I had to do was make him repeat an animation and make him go towards the target. And the result is, um, I'll, ju I'll just let this clip play out. I'm just walking down this mysterious hallway. Nothing could ruin this day. To get over my newfound crippling fear of cubes, I decided to remake the map from earlier. Now this result I am happy with, and I will make another map in the future. And I made this cool little explosion particle system. Now he can run into the orb and explode. This orb will be the thing that we need to protect. And also I figured I should point out that that yellow stuff on the ground is lava. Okay, here's the game plan. Okay, so basically all you can do right now is shoot the enemies. But I also want there to be a close range weapon. So I decided to make a sword which will snap your position to the enemy and eliminate them. So I made a uh, sword, then I made an animation. Now we have a very janky and crappy sword swing. But when you hit him, nothing happens, which does not happen in the demonstration. So now you can cut him and he'll explode in some blood. But this blood effect didn't really look good and I knew I could do better, so I did better. I then made them auto spawn, which worked perfectly. Which worked perfectly. I also decided to replace this stupid sword swing thing. So I made it better by making the sword green and making it more visible whenever you swing it and adding camera shake. Camera shake also occurs whenever you shoot. And this is the code I used to do it. And now whenever you're in range of an enemy and you swing your sword, you dash towards their position, ending their career. You can also shoot the enemy. There was also this weird bug with the camera, however I fixed it, but like most of my problems, it comes back later. I also wanted to add a feature that will block the enemy from your target for a certain amount of time. So I made this icon of a plank in Cloakie. I then added a plank object that you could pick up, but you can't really do anything with it right now, so let's fix that. So I made it so if you have a plank and you hold down F, you can see a preview of what you're about to place, and once you right click, it places the plank and starts a timer, and after that timer is over, the plank will disappear. Oh, so literally nothing in this project is organized, so let me fix that.
There we go. And right now you have currently no way of completing the game, so I added a little three minute timer at the top of the screen. Then I added fog, but honestly it doesn't really look that good, and I'm upside down again. Awesome. Fixing it this time took way longer, but eventually I got it to work right. I added a little percentage thing on top of the tower to show how damaged it is, and after it hits zero it plays a game over screen. After it plays a game over screen, you're met with a try again button and a quit the menu button. That quit the menu button is really hard to add because there's no main menu. So let's make one. First, I had to make a title. I wanted to make one way better than my last one because my last one was horrible, so this one looked pretty good. I then tried to make the main menu background and failed miserably. I decided to opt for a main menu background that played in the game, along with a gradient and a particle system. For a main menu to be a main menu, you kind of need buttons, and currently we have none of those. So let's fix that. Immediately, I went to Google Fonts to kind of spice the game up a bit and get a cool font. Eventually, I ended up with this one right here. And after adding them in, it looks really good. Now it's time to make these buttons actually work, because currently, they are useless. For the play button, I just made it pop up a level menu, and once you click play on level 1, it plays this transition animation I made and starts the level. And oh so yes, I know these shadows look like Dookie Booty. I have no idea how to fix it. I went through all Godot's documentation, somebody please send help. Then I made some resolution settings and a full screen option in the settings menu. Bro, isn't this main menu so good? And then I faced a very detrimental problem. Look at this recording. You notice anything? It looks like my grandma's 600 year old computer trying to run GTA 6. Midway through making this project, OBS decided to start stroking out and would not record my game properly. Luckily, I fixed this pretty quickly. Sorry if further recordings kind of look a bit low quality. Next up was making a new map. Making this map was way smoother and easier than making the last one. I then added the textures and added the lighting. I didn't really like how the white tiles worked in the first level, so I added gray tiles and a white ceiling in this one. I also really liked the red and blue lighting, and I also added little lights on the bridge. Back down at the floor, you couldn't really see where you were going, so I added two little lights at the ramp so that you could see where you're getting back up. Then I gave this map its own icon. Then I added these two useless orange bars. And now, it's time for... Next, Cosmic made me some music both for the main menu and the actual gameplay. It also helped rig Craig earlier, so... Yeah, and here's a sample of the main menu theme. I added this controls menu so that you could see all the controls for the game too. I also made it so if you press escape while in game it brings up your options menu. I also added volume bars. And after a few thousand trips to freesound.org, we now have every single sound effect. And here they all are in action. You can now download my game on itch.io. Thank you so much for the support on my recent videos. My most popular video is 300 views, which is insane. And we're not even that far away from 100 subscribers, so if you made it to the end, please subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day. See ya.